what to do about bats in buildings. Two of our most common bats, big and little brown bats, commonly roost in buildings. Big brown colonies are generally smaller, typically not exceeding 50 to 100 bats. Colonies of little brown bats can exceed 1,000 bats, but more often consist of fewer than 100. In highly developed regions of the province, buildings have likely become their primary roosting sites. These bats can often continue to roost in buildings with few problems for human occupants. And many buildings have become important for supporting our local bat populations, provided that they are not allowed to enter human living quarters. Bats do not chew like rodents, so will not harm wiring or create holes. Bat guano and urine are typically not health concerns, but in rare cases, bat guano has been associated with histoplasmosis. Problems with guano can often be addressed by placing a cloth or plastic sheath to collect waste. In some cases, homeowners may wish to exclude bats from their buildings. When exclusion is deemed necessary, there are important steps to prevent needless harm to bat populations. Conduct an exit count. Watch for potential exits at sunset for at least an hour, counting bats as they leave. This exit information will help you determine how many bats are involved and if it is a maternity colony. Provide alternate habitat. Install multiple, appropriately sized, bat houses well in advance of the exclusion. Bats often return to their place of birth each year and may no longer have suitable roosts after your exclusion. Because bat houses are small, they will provide few temperature options inside. So it's best to install numerous boxes in varying levels of solar exposure. The timing of renovations is critical to ensure that bats are not trapped inside the roost. Waiting until October or November after bats have left can avoid most harm to bats. If big brown bats are present, care should be taken to ensure the building is not also used for hibernation. The stewardship of colonies and buildings is one of the most important steps we can take to help our bats. Learn more about Alberta's bats at www.albertabats.ca.